What is going on everybody? I am back today to talk about a new release film that I saw the trailer for multiple times when I went to the theater this year and I was excited to check it out because it has a really great cast and I know this director has made one other film, I believe it's called The Assistant, that got really great reviews when it was first released. I still have not seen it but after watching this movie I'd be interested to check it out and the movie I'm going to be talking about with you today is The Royal Hotel. The Royal Hotel is directed by Kitty Green and after running out of money while back backpacking in a tiny male dominated town in the Australian outback two friends resort to working a holiday at the Royal Hotel when the locals behavior starts crossing the line the girls find themselves trapped in an unnerving situation that grows rapidly out of their control the trailer was relatively vague as to what was going on in the film I kind of had an idea what it was gonna go for from the trailer but not a hundred percent and I was excited to check this movie out and I thought it was really good I don't think it's a perfect film by any means I think it could have been executed in a way that made its message pay off a lot more intensely but I do think this is a film that has two really phenomenal performances and is trying to convey a very important message as well and I'll break it down more when I talk about the film in detail so the beginning of the film we're introduced to friends Hannah and Liv played by Julia Garner and Jessica Henwick and we see them they're out like on a boat partying together having a really nice time uh, they get these drinks they're enjoying themselves we see the Sydney Opera House in the background of the boat that they're at so we know they're in Australia and they end up running out of money they're struggling they don't have any money and so they go to like an employment office or something and they say hey we have a job that you can take to make some extra money it's not gonna be the easiest job in the world it's in a small working town at this hotel and you're gonna be working at a bar and so the two of them say hell we're here we need to make money let's just do it so the two of them go there they find out it's really difficult to get to this place it's literally in the middle of nowhere and they're introduced to a wide array of a cast of characters that live in the town they're introduced to Hugo Weaving's character who is the one who seems to run the bar in the hotel the woman who works in the kitchen at the hotel and from the very first night you get these really uncomfortable scenes of these men coming in to the bar to drink at night and just how they overly sexualize these women they talk down on them they treat them very differently the entire film is these uncomfortable scenarios that exist for these two women in, a, in an isolated environment where they're unfamiliar with the people that they're around, they don't know the intentions of these people, and the entire film is examining those relationships and examining those moments of confrontation and unpacking them and, and trying to understand why these things happen and trying to understand why people are the way that they are. And like I said, I think this movie is really well made. I think that the intention to the movie is great. I think the the pacing could have been a little bit better and there could have been some scenes that really hit a lot harder. But really what this movie is more than anything is a slice of life trying to show these types of situations in a very realistic way. Obviously we live in a world that is still incredibly misogynistic unfortunately. Women still are not treated the same as men in any type of job environment. When you see female actresses, uh, the payment that they are given for films comparatively to a lot of male actors the discrepancy still exists and it's sad because there are so many incredibly talented women in this world not just in the not just in the uh, performance scale and like the film world but in all different departments whether that be in business or whether that be in restaurants or what whatever it is women take on jobs and can do jobs equally as well as men they work their asses off the same as men do and it's unfortunate that they're not compensated the same and it's also unfortunate that a lot of men in positions of power take advantage of women who are trying to work their way up and I think what was interesting about this movie is showing two women who are taking a job that's very simplistic it's a bartending job right you learn these drinks you learn how to take care of customers and on the surface it should be an easy gig you're you're serving you're serving beverages to people you should be able to have that transaction maybe have a casual conversation and move on with your day well as someone who has worked in restaurants before and has been the manager over different bars it's never the way it works because when you get alcohol in people's systems the the horrible part of themselves show up and I think that's what the movie does a really great job of is that quiet nuance surrounding those interactions it's, it's not ever like the most extreme thing it's not like you know grabbing someone's arm or like forcefully like shaking them or like doing things like that it's like subtle jabs that hurt so badly and things that 
are said that just should never be said to someone who's just trying to do their jobs. I've heard so many stories from women I've worked with in the customer service industry over the years that are like, I work at a box office at a movie theater or I work at a counter at a restaurant and like people come up and hit on me and say horrible things to me that are like super sexist and disgusting and they're just trying to do a job, right? I mean, you're just trying to go to work, make your paycheck and go home. And I think this movie does a really fantastic job at conveying those interactions in a way that shows just how uncomfortable it is. And no matter whether you're a man or a woman, you should be able to watch this movie and understand how horrible that is that women have to experience that. And I think the director does an amazing job at framing those scenarios. They also introduce characters that at points seem to have friendly intentions, but then a moment later, the intentions can completely shift to where there's like a much more maniacal intent. And I think that's the reality of life, unfortunately, is that there's a lot of people out there who just act that way and that they can come across as friendly and then five seconds later be absolutely horrible to a person. And I think the way Kitty Green structures all of those scenes is really fantastic. And there's some very powerful moments in this movie that work really well. And I was glad it was so effective. I think Julia Garner is the standout in this film. Her performance is great, not only from her inflection and her vocal delivery, but I think from her uh, facial expressions and her bodily movements and her reaction to certain situations is just so well done. And she is the one who is very hesitant in scenarios. You can tell that she is off put very easily and is like, hey, this is not a good situation. Whereas Liv, played by Jessica Henwick, she's like, I'm on vacation. I don't want to care about this. You can tell she kind of pushes it to the back of her head. And the only time reality really starts setting in is when things really start to blow up. And I really like that contrast in their characters because I think it creates a very interesting conversation. And, and like really just saying how much women have to watch out for themselves in situations situations where men can just be creepy and disgusting when women are just trying to exist and that's a very horrible reality we face on a day-to-day -day basis for women and I'm glad that movies like this exist for that reason. I'd say my biggest issue with this movie, if I have one, is I was not a big fan of the ending. I think Kitty Green really wanted something intense to kind of uh, really shock the audience and it's kind of out of tone with the rest of the film's kind of nuance that it has in the, these small conversations that also get heated into bigger moments and the bigger moments do really pack a hard-hitting emotional punch but the ending to me just felt really rushed along like it needed to come to a conclusion and rather than saying something really powerful and I'm not saying you had to go as far as like for one of the women to be assaulted or anything of that nature but the way that they wrap this up is just so quickly put together and it didn't resonate with me as much as a lot of the quieter uh, moments at the beginning of the film and I say quiet or not in the sense of like you know it's it's just like subtle jabs like these things get more and more intense as the movie goes on and the blame for the women essentially doing nothing other than not complying to the demands of these men it just grows and grows throughout the film and that's the part of the movie I really liked I just, in my mind, I kept thinking if the film would have ended a little bit differently, I would have thought it was phenomenal. Instead, I just thought it was a really good movie that has a very great commentary that needs to be discussed. I mean, it's something, a lot of these movies have been released since the Me Too movement. I think uh, most recently, like a film like Promising Young Woman, that's trying to say something so large about the mistreatment of women and how women are so often gaslit by men and treated horrible for legitimately no reason. And I like that movies like like this are being made and I think more people need to watch these types of movies and so for that very reason I think the Royal Hotel is definitely worth checking out so if you've seen the Royal Hotel did you love it did you hate it leave me a comment down below let me know what you thought I thought this movie was really great despite me not being the biggest fan of the ending I think there's a lot of good going on in this movie and it's a hundred percent worth your time checking out as always if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future and as as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.